Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about solve absolute value equations. All right. Math, minute math, when you need help, you use minute math. So what is an absolute value equation? The absolute value of x is written as two bars x. It has the following properties. If x is greater than or equal to zero, then absolute value of x equals x. If x is less than zero, then absolute value of x equals a negative x. For real numbers a and b, an equation of the form absolute value of a equals b with b greater than or equal to zero will have solutions when a equals b or a equals negative b. If b is less than zero, the equation absolute value of a equals b has no solution. An absolute value equation in the form absolute value of AX, ax plus b equals c has the following properties. Oof, so much here. If c is less than zero, absolute value of ax plus b equals c has no solution. If c equals zero, then a, uh, absolute value of ax plus b equals c has one solution. And if c is greater than zero, can you guess it? Absolute value of x plus b is equal to c has two solutions. Oh, now that we got that definition out of the way, let's just learn by doing, let's solve some examples here. So example eight, there we go. Example eight, we're gonna do a couple of these. A, absolute value of six x plus four equals eight. All right, so we're gonna set each one of these since we have absolute value six x plus four, we're gonna set six x plus four equal to a positive eight as I told us, and 6x plus 4 equal to a negative 8. And we need to solve each one individually. Subtract 4 to both sides. 6x equals 4. Divide 6 both sides, and 4 6 becomes a 2 thirds. So x equals 2 thirds. I'm going to kind of kind of high there. Same thing here. Subtract 4 to both sides. 6x equals negative 8 minus 4, negative 12. Divide both sides by 6, and x equals negative 12 divided by 6, which is a negative 2. So we have two solutions here. We have x equals two-thirds, I'll write it better, and negative two, okay? So we got our two solutions. Let's go with b, okay? What about b? So b here is the absolute value of three x plus four equals a negative nine. Well, let's go from our definition we talked about earlier. This is equal to a negative number, means we have no solution. Why? Well, whatever's inside here, when we take the absolute value, it's impossible for that to be negative. So we have no solution here, okay? Let's go with C. Let's keep this gravy train rolling. We have three X minus five minus four equals six. And then three X minus five is in the absolute value. All right, let's try this again, okay? Well, what are we gonna do? We wanna isolate the absolute value. I'm gonna add a four to both sides. So we have the absolute value of three X minus five equals 6 plus 4, 10. And then now, just like we did before, we set this 3x minus 5 equal to a positive 10, and 3x minus 5 equal to a, a negative 10. And we're going to solve both of them. Add 5 to both sides. 3x equals 10 plus 5, that's 15. Divide both sides by 3, don't forget that. And 15 divided by 3 is 5. Good old 5. Keep going. Add a 5 to both sides, 3x equals negative 10 plus 5 is a negative 5, right? Divided by 3, and we got x equals a negative 5 thirds. And so our two solutions are x equals 5 and negative 5 thirds here, okay? Lastly, lastly, but certainly not least, let's go with negative 5x plus 10. Absolute value of that is equal to zero. Okay, so the equation set equal to zero, so we know we're only gonna have one equation here. We can't really do a plus or minus zero, right? So that's what they kind of told us one of our rules. Funny how we did all the different types of rules here. So we just set negative five x plus 10 equal to zero and solve for x just like any other equation. Subtract 10 to both sides, negative five x here equals a negative 10. Divide both sides by negative five and x equals negative 10 divided by negative five equals a positive two. Two negatives make a positive. Two wrongs make a right, well, in math, okay? So we have x equals two here as our answer. 
So now you've seen some examples and hopefully you learned how to solve absolute value equations. If you did, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. And as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math. When you need help, you use minute math. Minute math, minute math. When you need help, you use minute math. Minutemathtutor.com.